I'm joined here by Colonel Halifey in the, the Aeroak Centre back. Colonel, that was a fantastic game. Uh, congratulations. And, uh, you know, you played a superb part. Yeah, it was uh, probably everything we could have ever dreamed for, really, just in, this, in the way that we started the game. I thought we dominated a lot of, of the game, but then we let them back into it with some soft breeze and stuff, but we really showed some character at the end there. And when our backs were to the wall and it looked like Murray were going to come back and come within one point and push on from there, we went up the field and got the next couple of scores and there was just no better feeling than when we went five points up and we just knew that we had it it was it was brilliant yeah you were absolutely they were absolutely coming back at you but you laid the foundation very early on and and and, and your compatriot there in the half back line uh, in the mid middies way up the field and took uh, three three tackles and uh, and got a, a great cross into Mark McInerney. yeah and, and has been doing that all year and i think it's been a platform for a lot of our attacks himself and Kiran on the two flanks bombing up and we've kept a really strong kind of uh, defence but we've given those two lads the licence to bomb forward and they've created a load of scores for us today but um, it was it was just great for, for Aina and Mark that they were able to produce it on the big day when it really counted Absolutely and then towards the end of the game um, uh, when you needed a couple of scores David really popped up with two points you really needed them at that stage just to, you know, to keep the game safe yeah, that's like that's that's what David Reedy brings to this team. Like he has intercounty experience. He's played in big games. He's played in Crow Park. He's won all Ireland. Like he has a cool head there in the last five minutes when the noise is coming out from the terraces. Your backs are to the wall. David Reedy popped up then, and they were two crucial scores, as you said, and they really settled us. And uh, yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah, because you would be afraid this was at that stage anything can happen. We saw what happened in the intermediate, intermediate final here yesterday, even where there was a five point lead, four point lead in injury time so so they were they were they were vital. But everybody played a part. It came it, it came, came on it, it, you know uh Aiden McGray got a great score there. You know Philip Telsey got a great point as well like so just a, a completely a team effort. Yeah definitely and I think that's been one of our strengths this year. We've managed to keep a really strong panel. We've been relatively fortunate with injuries obviously we missed Cahill Darcy with a cruciate at the start of the year who was a huge loss. Um, but there's, um, we were generally okay for injuries, and that hadn't been the case in other years. And uh, and like uh, that's obviously extremely important um, if you're going to go on and win the championship because having a settled team and a settled defence, especially, um, is really important. And I think it showed this year where we conceded no goals in the whole championship. And that was really the platform for our victory, and that was that that came from kind of a consistency in, in team selection, I suppose. Absolutely, yeah. And this is a big tone. There's a lot of, a lot of young, young people in this town. I, you probably don't realise this yet, but what you've done for the town, like, there'll be every young lad will be going around with a red jersey for the next, between, for the next year. Like, yeah. It's a huge thing to bring that much joy into, into the capital town of Innes, really. Like, yeah. Tremendous credit to you. Um, yeah, and that's, that, that's really what it's all about, because people say, obviously, Ennis is a big town, but Eroge is a small club small within club, the town, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And we need to get more people involved at a younger age and playing playing hurling and football and contributing and just taking part and they're doing some great work there in the academy and they've hired Kino D as a as a games development officer and he, he was into all the schools there during the week urging them to come out and support and when we left their uh, this morning um, there was crowds of young of young kids to see us see us off and that was really that was really a big help in um, obviously we didn't try we weren't going to get distracted by it but looking back now that gave us a lot of energy as did the support in the town end when we were walking past them in the parade and I think that was a really special moment and it'll stay in a lot of our minds for forever really yeah absolutely brilliant role what is every one of you and, and it's a really proud day for you so I was talking to your father there just after the match he was really emotional because it, it is a huge for a family for a, for a, for a parish for you know a tow, the town of Innes it's, it's a huge occasion and yeah, to, I, to, to win this title. I think all, I think our families they they've been there when we've suffered the heartache, and they've they've been there to console us when things haven't gone well. And there's been a lot of that in the last four or five years when we've gone out at the quarterfinal stages and the the pain and yeah. like I think that kind of stood to us a bit today because when when Kimuri came at us at the end, I I think a lot of lads said that that wasn't going to happen today, and thankfully it didn't. So yeah. That was yeah. A day to kind of stick out for me was above in Westmead. We played Westmead, and towards the end of the game, you picked up a bad injury yourself. 
Yeah. And yeah. there's bad days, there's hard days, and there's tough days to get here. You don't get here by, you no, know, you yeah. have to fight your way back. And, and like, yeah, there's lots of highs and lows. And like, even this year, I suppose, with the county, I had a, a, a tough day, like down in, down in Killarney. And, and that day as well, yeah. I suppose yeah, after yeah. days like that, you kind of you wonder why, why you bother playing at all. And then uh, today, today, today is just the complete opposite. Yeah, you know, today yeah. today yeah. makes it all worthwhile. So it's definitely a lot of ups and downs but I think any sports person will, will, will say that's always going to be the case yeah well you'll wake up here in Lillis tomorrow morning as a county champion it's an, <laughs> it'll be a nice feeling every Monday morning yeah it's going, it's going to be a great Monday <laughs> absolutely had a great night today I'm sure I'm sure yeah, yeah. Well, thanks very much for thanks speaking to me congratulations Thank and well done cheers, thanks